In a rhombus, the diagonals bisect each other at right angles. But why is that? Let's take a look right away. First, let's draw this diagonal. The first thing I notice is that two congruent isosceles triangles are formed. In an isosceles triangle, the base angles are equal. And since these are congruent triangles, the angles of this one must also be equal to the angles of that one. Thus, this diagonal also becomes an angle bisector. When I draw this other diagonal as well, the same situation will occur. Look at the triangle above and the triangle below. Since an isosceles triangle is formed here, this angle will be equal to this angle. And since this triangle and this triangle are congruent, the angles here will also be the same. Let's look at the triangle on the left and the triangle on the right. Since two of their angles are equal, the third angles must also be equal by necessity. Since this whole part is 180 degrees, we can say that these are 90 and 90 degrees. The same situation applies here as well. We've reached the final step. Now, when you draw an angle bisector in an isosceles triangle, it is also a perpendicular and at the same time a median. Therefore, this line segment and this line segment are equal to each other. And if you look at this triangle, when I drop this perpendicular, this line segment and this line segment will also be equal to each other. Thus, in a rhombus, the diagonals bisect each other at right angles.